Yo, all might remember Billy. He's gonna be walking in and out of the camera frame. It's here to film. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back for some daily content. We're ready to watch me suffer. Let's go ahead and get started. We are off. Three, two, one. Getting it. What are we doing here? We are doing... Honestly, I just forgot. <laughs> it's a rest day today. I'm knocking out a crap ton of videos back and back to back. And so I've done this like three other videos before this. And so I honestly forgot what this workout was. It is 21.15.9 of ski erg calories. 15.12.9 of strict handstand push-ups. And 6.42 of muscle-ups. Um, and the whole workout, like you notice, is in a 20 pound weight vest. And you might be asking yourself, Jacob, what weight vest are you using? I'm using my old trusty 511 Tactical from like the 2014 games. It fits me perfectly. I love it. It doesn't move. I've honestly, sometimes, sometimes the vests that I've used in the past, they move a little bit, especially when you do like strict handstand push-ups because they'll, or handstand push-ups in general, they'll come down each in the chin or like muscle-ups will whack you in the face and that always is a bad deal. All right, so first things first, 21 calories. Um, if you notice, there's Billy. Billy, the cameraman, he's awesome. And so uh, we're going moving on to 15 strict handstand push-ups. Um, let's talk about, from the very get-go, let's actually talk about scaling options from the beginning since this is a pretty short workout. Let's talk about how you can attempt this workout and what you should be looking to shoot for in terms of time, um, maybe like intensity, what are some good scaling options for you. That way, you know, you don't, Choose something that's too hard, or maybe choose something that's too easy. Um, honestly, the skier cows, usually model structural pieces like that, where you ski, row, bike, um, should usually, or run, should always pretty much stay the same, right? Um, your feet, if you're a female, your time is gonna be a little bit different because you might ski at a lower rate than a male, possibly. But I would keep the 2159 for the skier cows the same. Um, now, scaling options for the strict handstand push ups. Uh, if you can do it, do it. Right, I'm not expecting, you know, like, not saying like, do sure can stand pushes with a 20 pound weight vest, um, you should be able to go unbroken. I don't even go unbroken. Like I'm gonna break my 15, 12s and nines up. So what are some options for that for you for doing that? Now, first of all, I think the goal, yeah, it's, it's actually a great discussion is, I think that the folks in this workout was keeping the weight vest on, you know, um, if you sh if if the weight vest is going to give you that much of an issue for your muscle ups and that much of an issue for your strict handstand push ups, then just trash the vest and don't use it, and then do the twenty one fifty nine, fifteen twelve nine, and the six four two without a weight vest, and that's honestly a perfect workout. Now, if you go down that route and you still can't do strict handstand push ups, then I would say I always kind of give the option of strict as far as you can and then rotate to kipping. So, for instance, if you were doing the fifteens then maybe do like eight strict. Like give yourself a number you have to do strict, whether that's, you know, five or six or eight or 10, and then finish the rest of them kipping. That's completely fine. It's kind of like a variable, a variable scaling option. Um, if you do want to keep a weight vest on, if it's Wednesday and you're like, I'm doing a weight vest Wednesday workout and I want to attempt Hepner's weight vest Wednesday workout and here it is. And, but the weight vest is maybe too much for strict handstand pushes, but you really want the weight vest you know, that's your goal, then you should have options to bring down the weight in the weight vest. So a lot of people don't know this and don't do this, but you can actually take out the non ballistically related plates in the vest. Okay. Don't shoot them. Take the weight vest, the, the plates out of the vest and put change plates in there. And honestly, sometimes if you tie off the change plates correctly or put them in right in the right way, um, when I say change plates, I mean like the metal plates you would put in the end of a barbell. If you use change plates, sometimes they don't hit you in the face as much, and it's actually much more comfortable. The problem is they kind of jingle around a little bit. If you're okay with that, you're fine. Um, but the nice part is if you kind of tie that 10-pound or 5-pound plate down low, it won't have the ability to slide it and hit you in the chin if you're doing handstand push-ups or if you're doing muscle-ups. So it's a good option. So I would say if you like are dead set on, I'm using the weight vest because it's Wednesday, <clears throat> Then I would drop the weight on the vest if this is too much of a workout for you and um, it's too hard to do strict handstand pushes with it. I would drop the vest weight. That way you, you can do this workout with a lighter vest. So, you know, for males, maybe go to a 14 uh, or go to a 10. For females, go to a 10 or maybe go to an 8, like whatever you want to do. Um, 
This workout is a 10 minute time cap. I did not mention in the beginning. It is a 10 minute time cap. So bear that in mind and use that piece of knowledge to aid you in choosing the weights that will allow you to keep the intensity high and allow you to hopefully finish the workout. Um, so what I'm trying to overall say is like, keep the rep scheme the same. Like I wouldn't drop the muscles. Like if you drop the muscles anymore from six, four and two, there'll be absolutely no muscles. I mean, in, in total, there's 12 muscle ups in the workout. So like, if you were like, oh, I'm going to drop the muscle up reps down, there'll absolutely be no muscle ups in the workout whatsoever. So you might as well just cut them out in general. So I would say keep the muscle ups the same at six, four and two. Uh, when it comes to strict handstand pushups, this is really the only movement I would say that you can really scale. You know, if, if, if 15, 12, 9 is too much, then do like a uh, 12, 9, 6 um, is, is a viable option on top of it. Um, but again, really what it comes down to, this workout really comes down to, okay, do you want to use a weight vest? Can you use a weight vest? Do you want to use a weight vest? If you want to use it, maybe scale the weight. If you don't want to use a weight vest, then just do it body weight. And honestly, a workout like this for body weight, <clears throat> um, if you're a good gymnastics guy, this would be a great workout to do with body weight because it makes you move, right? You have to move through this workout. So like if I were doing this um, body weight with no weight vest, I would probably honestly shoot. I mean, I, I think I got like high sixes on this workout with a 20 pound weight vest. So if I was doing a body weight, I would probably shoot for like, Maybe like high fours, uh, low fives. Honestly, probably high fours. I mean, because you got to figure, you've got at least about two, a little over two minutes worth of skiing and about two minutes worth of gymnastics work, probably. So here I am, I got two muscle ups left and I'm done. Andrew's yelling at me to grab onto the rings and go. Um, like we've mentioned in the past for discussions, I am using long straps rather than short straps. You see the short straps in the back. Um, because it's a, it's a lot of strict handstand push-ups for the day. Yeah, that's an understatement. Um, like I mentioned, uh, I was just trying to say, we use long straps to prepare for the games because the games uses long straps, and that's in a couple weeks. So anyways, hey, appreciate you guys watching. If you guys want to watch our, watch our workout, it's kind of similar to this. Click right here. Other than that, have a great day. Thanks for hanging out. We'll talk to you guys later. See ya.